I know that my Redeemer lives, the one who calls me home. I long to see God face to face and see with my own eyes. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to an everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, Oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Mighty ever living God, is to share in the joys of heaven so the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know, know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ these, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you're patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. 
Instead, he handed himself over to the, the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. According to John. Lord, glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, and the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger, they will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Well, I'm sure that each of us has our stories in the last few weeks. Some serious ones, some funny. But our sort of lockdown has led to different adventures. And so I wanted to share two stories with you tonight. One about a cemetery gate. The other one about 30 rolls of toilet paper. About a week and a half ago, at a funeral up in Mary Rest. And if you've had a funeral up there, you know that only a, the hearse driver and the funeral director, the priest, and possibly two relatives are allowed. If one's elderly, somebody else can drive them. And that's what we had. Pulled up to the mausoleum, and the workers came out in very 
wonderfully and very courteously moved the casket inside. And the widow and her son walked in, and I walked in before them. Everything went pretty well. I apologized. We couldn't do anything more than our little prayers. And then it became time to leave. And so, got into my car, and the funeral director left before me. I wasn't rushing. It was a beautiful day. I was looking around at everything. It was nice out. Why should I rush? So I got to the bottom of the hill, and the gate was locked. So now I'm locked into the cemetery. At first I thought it was pretty funny. And I was sure that a worker was just hiding around somewhere was going to let me right out, you know. Guess what, Father, we got you. And a few minutes passed by and nobody came. <laughs> then the thoughts start going through. Well, I guess I can call up the office, but the office of the cemetery is closed. Okay, that's not going to work. Where do I find the workers? And then I became a little indignant. Here I am. I've come for this burial. I'm a priest, and you locked me inside your cemetery. You should have been here to let me out. Oh, thank goodness that thought didn't last that long. But for a moment, I felt very self-righteous. And look what I was sacrificing, coming all the way to this cemetery, not being able to get out. As I started to back up the car to try to find a worker, one of the workers pulled up and said, oh, sorry, Father, and opened the gates and got out. As I pulled out of the gates, I said, look stupid. How can you get so upset about a closed gate when other people are doing so much more? And the whole ride back, I thought about that and all those who were responding to different things and doctors and nurses and people trying to console people who have died. And say, you know, boy, it's so easy to start thinking of your own importance. Second story. 30 rolls of toilet paper. For two weeks, Costco up here in Teterboro has been without a toilet paper. And each time I've gone, no toilet paper. So we're getting down to our last three rolls of toilet paper. And they weren't the good rolls. They were the rolls we have in the church. A little scratchy. Can't deal with that. But on Tuesday, my sister said, guess what? They have plenty of toilet paper in the Costco and Rick. You want some? Oh, okay. She calls back, I picked up a whole case for you. Where do we meet? So I said, okay. So we met at the service center, the Cheesequake Service Center just by the Raritan River. So I got there about 30 seconds before she got there in the big parking lot. I called her up and she says, I'm pulling in now. I said, flash your lights. And so the other car's flashing their lights. I said, okay. She pulls up and we exchange a case of toilet paper. I'm peeling off bills to give to her. And there are other cars around us watching this transaction. I can imagine what was going through their heads. One guy had tinted windows, but you could see his head right next to the window trying to watch. You know, counterband toilet paper. I laughed at it. She laughed. My brother later texted me and said, the state police is checking on you, and all those wonderful things. But it reminded me how easy it is to make a judgment. I am sure that that person next car was saying, ah, what are they up to? It's going to be more than toilet paper. I wonder if there's any masks in there or something else. Hmm. The thing of your own importance and to jump to judgments. Those two things are really highlighted this past week to me. And not that you don't think about that other times, but it's part of the story of this time. And so we listen to the Good Shepherd becoming a gate. Not a lot gate, but one to give us life, have the life to the fullest. And if we judge one another, we really don't get very far. 
Our Lord's flock really can't be a flock if it judges one another. Our gospel ended up in a beautiful line. I came to my life and have it more abundantly. So think of the stories of this time for your life, the funny ones, the serious ones, the very profound ones, to see how they all help us understand the life that our Lord gives to us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended to hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven, and sit at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. The Good Shepherd does not allow the sheep to wander in harm's way, knowing that we are heard, let us pray with confidence. For the Lord's flock and for his pastors, that they always reflect the Lord's deep love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For people of every nation, that they live their lives with courage and find true peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those called to religious vocations and for those called to minister in the world as lay people, that they respond with generous hearts to the Lord's voice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That deacons faithful in their service to the word and the poor may be an invigorating symbol for the entire church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have contracted coronavirus, the vulnerable, and all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially Sue Lamba, Barbara Rogers, Catherine Faust, Faust Maria Kanayalu, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Jerry Chambers, Father John Salvas, Father John Morris, Barbara Schneiderbeck, True Jordan, mother of Amy Blanco, Scott Rogers, Carl O. Padovano, Richard Rocco Manzella, John Congedo, Nicolina Menta, and the intention we remember in this Mass is for the people of the parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, you know each of us by name. You are prayers. Let your Holy Spirit fill our hearts. We ask this name of your loving shepherd, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We will lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation. At all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time of all, to praise you more gloriously in Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For the old order destroyed. A universal cast universal is cast down and renewed. And integrated integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land every people exalting your praise. Even the heavenly powers of angelic hosts sing together the unending theme of your glory as they acclaim. Created rightly gives you praise. With your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You will never cease to gather a people to yourself. So from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you that the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the more of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognize in sacrificial victim by his death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ.
may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, in whose constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare now to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy may always be free from sin, safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. What is this? Lamb of God, you take Behold the Lamb of God, the old tomb who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
gather your every seed, O Lord. So many of us are at home and can't do that. Let's we'll join together in our spiritual communion. Dear Jesus, I believe you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. I love you above all things, desire to receive your body and blood. But I cannot at this moment receive your sacramental communion. Come in this spiritual thing to my heart. Be close to Jesus. May to be close to all our brothers and sisters, especially those who most needed your loving care. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd. Be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We do have an announcement. Next week, Our Lady of Mercy Parish Social Justice and Peace Ministry is hosting a breakfast food drive. And actually, breakfast food drive-by. Got to get it right. To support the Triborough Pantry Food Park Ridge. We'll be collecting breakfast food items. They can be dropped off outside the Paris Center and mark bins that'll be there from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday, March, sorry, May 9th, next Saturday. Volunteers will be at hand to assist in collection and sure all social distancing protocols are followed. Any checks you want to make can be made out to the Triborough Food Pantry. Also, gift cards to ShopRite or Regmans will be accepted. The items that are needed are listed in the bulletin and on our website, so please take a look at that. And be next Saturday, we hope to have a wonderful breakfast food drive-by. Get all the words right that time. I'd like to thank Debbie and Laura for the music tonight. It is so much different with having some music. Jay, you're a wonderful singer, but come on. <laughs> much better. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Take the word of God with you as you go. Take the seeds of God's word and make them grow. Go in peace to serve the world, in peace to serve.